What do you do when an Ethernet cable is too short? You might try moving your hardware closer together, or taping things to the wall or the back of a desk, but that's inconvenient. And having a cable tug on the hardware isn't good for the cable or the hardware, especially in places where you're liable to trip. So, you end up buying a longer cable. But usually, it's a little too long. You can try putting twist ties on it, but sometimes you have to move your desk around and you need more slack. If you let it dangle, it's gonna tangle or droop on the floor, and it's still a tripping hazard. What if you could have the right length of cable for any setup? Not so short that the connectors are under strain, and not so long that it's picking up dust or getting caught underfoot. And no matter where you stick it, it would coil back into shape. That was the idea we had after getting fed up with cables in our workspace. So we made some primitive first attempts at spiral coiling an Ethernet cable, which turned out to be much harder than coiling a phone cable because of the four extra wires and the amount of insulation we needed. We tried a few different diameters for the coiled part, but the cables would unwind. We learned it was a little bit like curing a sausage or getting a perm, and took time for the coils to set in. After a few iterations using very thick outer jackets, we settled on using a bit more than a millimeter of thickness, with a rubber jacket made from more rugged stuff than PVC. And to make QA easier, we decided to use rainbow colored wires rather than the hard to distinguish standard T568 coloring. The result is a durable, adjustable length cable that's never too long or too short.